Hello, and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at an aircraft's electrical system, the components, how it functions, and what happens in cases of emergencies. First, let's look at what is an aircraft's electrical system. All aircraft are equipped with an electrical system, which is used to generate, store, or supply electrical power to different users. Some of the equipment that require electrical power are interior and exterior lights, display units, electric pumps, flight computers, communication systems. Now, let's look at how an aircraft's electrical system functions. Sources of electric power Most aircraft have batteries, which store and supply electrical power when required. When an aircraft is on ground and external power supply is not available, the battery becomes the only available power source. The batteries may be used to start the engines, the auxiliary power unit, APU, or to supply critical systems in cases of emergencies in the aircraft. The electrical system recharges the battery when the battery power decreases and if a different power source is available. The engines may be connected to a DC generator or an AC alternator. At low engine speeds, the DC generator may not produce sufficient electrical current. The AC alternator is installed with a constant speed mechanism, which ensures constant electric current supply, even at low engine speeds. When an aircraft is on ground, an external ground power unit may be connected to the aircraft, and it also becomes a source of electrical power. Distribution of electric power. The electric supply to the aircraft is controlled by an on off switch. When set to on, different equipment receive electrical power from the available power source. A bus bar is used to distribute electrical power to the different systems. Some systems may require alternating current, AC, and some systems require direct current, DC. To convert AC to DC, rectifiers are used. And to convert DC to AC, inverters are used. Both AC and DC bus bars may be installed for different electric equipment. In addition to these buses, the aircraft's critical equipment are also connected to the batteries to ensure these systems are available, even in case of a total power failure. Protection and monitoring of electric power. To protect the circuit from an electrical overload, fuses or circuit breakers are installed. In case of an overload, fuses melt off and a replacement of the affected fuses becomes mandatory. However, if circuit breakers are installed, they will trip in case of an overload. The trip circuit breakers may be reset in certain conditions. To monitor the electrical system, an ammeter or load meter may be installed. This is used to check the power that is available from the generator and the load acting on the generator. On modern aircraft having a digital display, different sensors pick up the output parameters and the load information, which are sent to be displayed in the cockpit. Electric emergencies When an aircraft is in flight, in case of emergencies, which affect the electrical power supply, the batteries become the initial power source to a few critical equipment. The battery power will start depleting, so depending on the aircraft and the type of failure, the auxiliary power unit or an emergency generator, coupled with a ram air turbine, may be used. Some reasons for failures to occur are mechanical fault in the generator, circuit overload, AC or DC bus faults, overheating or fire. That's all for my video on an aircraft's electrical system. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe and you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.